six and welcome to Science at Beckett Keys. I'm Miss Ellis. My name is Miss Brown and we're going to show you a few of the experiments you can expect in your science lessons. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the science behind superheroes. So I'm going to be looking at how Iron Man gets the iron for his suit. So we've got a couple of chemicals here. We've got iron oxide and we've got sodium carbonate, okay? In here, I've got a tray of iron oxide. So it's iron and oxygen mixed together. We call it iron oxide. And at the moment, if I take my magnet and put it near this iron oxide, it doesn't actually do anything. So this isn't going to be very useful for Iron Man in his suit. It's not going to have the properties that he wants. So what we're going to do is, we're going to try and turn iron oxide, if I can get a match lit, into iron so that Iron Man can have that for his suit. So I'm gonna take a match, I'm gonna put it on top of my safety mat, and I'm gonna get a couple of things. I'm gonna get another match, okay, and I'm going to, first of all, just dampen it in some water, make sure it's a little bit sticky. I'm gonna put it into my two chemicals, okay? So I need my iron oxide on the end, and I need some of my sodium carbonate on the end as well. Okay, and what I'm going to do is put that into my flame. Now what that's going to lead to is a chemical reaction which will allow me to extract my iron from my iron oxide. That is the aim, okay? So I've got my two chemicals. I need some heat in order to make this reaction happen. So I'm going to put my match into my candle flame, make sure I've got some heat, set it on fire a little bit. We've got our chemical reaction taking place here. Just gonna blow it out. I'm going to just take the end of my matchstick. I'm going to put it into my little tray and I'm gonna crush it. Now, hopefully, if everything has worked, I should now have made iron. And once again, my test for this is my magnet. I'm gonna put my magnet underneath it. And what I can see now is some of that iron being attracted to the magnet and moving around, okay? So now I'm gonna go and deliver that to Iron Man, ready to make his suit. Right, now we're going to look at Spider-Man and we think we have figured out how Spider-Man makes his web. And I'm gonna show you, so if you wanna come and have a look. I've got a couple of chemicals here. Okay, I've got chemical A and I've got chemical B. And what you can see is they're both liquid that one's quite see-through. This one's slightly more translucent. Let's have a look. So I'm gonna put chemical A into my beaker. Okay, I'm wearing gloves because these chemicals are quite strong. Chemical B is going in. Now, hopefully, you can all agree with me what went in with two liquids, but let's have a look at what happened, shall we? So, I'm just gonna have a quick check. Yep, it's looking good. So Spider-Man's web, this is what we think happens. Let's have a look if something very, very, very special has happened. We combine the two. What you can see is, there it is. There's the web. Let's see how far we can take it. So up two liquids, we have made something called nylon, which is a polymer. And a polymer is when you combine two things together in a long chain. What you can see is I'm wrapping it around there, and that's how we reckon. So again, I'm gonna to need to go and make a special delivery to Spider-Man today with some supplies for his web. And there we go, that's Spider-Man's web. So when you come to Beckett Keys in September, you'll be covering all three sciences. So we do biology, chemistry and physics, and you have four lessons a week and everyone does all three sciences. And we do a mixture of theory and practical science. So you have the opportunity to learn loads of new skills. We use Bunsen burners and microscopes and learn how to set up experiments in a, a science lab environment and make sure that we stay nice and safe. We hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about science at Beckett Keys. We can't wait to meet you in September. Bye. Okay, so we call this experiment elephant's toothpaste. Let's have a little look why we call it that.
go.